Yeah. Get Lance. Lance, so, come here. So we're here with uh, Tack Daddy, um, Kevin. Uh, and what's your name again? Ross. Ross. Yeah. This is uh, Kevin's brother. They're brothers, brother. believe it or not. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck not. that happened. Yeah, the mailman. Um, yeah, no, how did you? <laughs> and we're just talking now. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> he had said something about Colin had a, a Strider knife in class he pulled out. And somebody asked him how much it was yesterday, and he says, it's like 500 bucks. Some dude goes, $500 for what? And, you know, threw this fit over this $500 knife. And I said, shit, dude, there's knives out there that are five and ten grand. And we started pulling them out of the safe and talking about them. And uh, we were just talking about, you know, association and, and perception of value and stuff like that. So uh, I said, shit, we should probably record this. So, you know, you've got... And, it, and you can see it in, in anything, Benchmade collaborations, Strider collaborations, whatever it is. They've got production knives that are, you know, $200 and, and $400 and $500. Oh, shit. But if you want something that's actually touched by, by Mick or Dwayne, you know, you're a couple grand. And you go, uh, you throw Starling gear uh, into the mix, you got a, a $2,500 knife. You do something that, you know, Mick, Mick personally made, and you got, you know, uh, a $2,500 to a $5,000 knife. Um, you got something Dwayne, you know, made himself out of U.S. Navy uh, dive bronze material and uh, the brass and shit. You know, you got a $4,000 knife. And then you go up into, you know, custom pieces, one-offs, you know, you're four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. Um, you know, Mick made all this Damascus and shit. But what happens is, you know, we, we use this as advertising. And uh, traditional accounting and, and you know, attorneys and shit will go, well, that can't, that can't be advertising. You know, you can't, we can't write that shit off. We've got to depreciate that or whatever. And the reality is when we started posting pictures of stuff like this on the Facebook page, they started getting shared and tagged. Like my photos of these might have, you know, a couple thousand views on them, but people have shared them on knife forums and they have literally millions and millions of views. So people start reading the post and I've got SOE in all my posts. So guys with this type of stuff start going, huh, what's, who's SOE? These are obviously dudes that own this stuff. And the same with the cars and the watches and shit. Um, it's guys with expendable income. It's guys who have done well for themselves. It's guys that can travel and play and, and buy toys and shit like that. And uh, while guys started going, oh, you're showing off or you're being an asshole or whatever, it's marketing. Those people with those other items, the sister, like there, are, there might be only, a lot of these knives on the counter here, there's only two of mm. in the whole world. This, this there's only there's only one of these. Mick said he will never fucking make another straight razor. This auctioned at the uh, the tactical. You can come in here. This auctioned at the tactical blade show, and uh, it went to uh, Brady at Monkey Edge. And then I tried to buy it, and he had sold it. Uh, it took me a year and a half to get this thing, but it finally landed here. There's no others of these in the world. Like they don't exist. So when you start talking about five thousand dollar knives, there's only one or two of, and I've got one. And guys start sharing those pictures. Those people, you know, those get tagged into other forums, um, and they come out. And those guys have money, and they they've got guns, and they're like, "Hey, I I want to check this out." And they buy SOE gear because of that. It's just like the car. When I bought the first Porsche, other Porsche owners came out and go, "Well, I've got some rifles. I want to buy some slings from this dude." And it's like the watches. My watch pictures when I put them up with the knives and shit at the gym every day. My pictures get shared on a, a, a Instagram page called Hot Time H A U T E. And then I get shared, my pictures get shared on Hublot's actual Instagram and Hublot's actual Facebook pages. And that exposes me to thousands of other dudes that own, you know, those kind of watches. And they, they do business with us. And that, well, just, that's just because We were just saying, you know, just because you can't afford it or you don't have that in your life, it doesn't mean that there's not collectors in everything, whether it's cars or shoes, knives. Man, or shoes, man. Shoes. shoes, right? And the thing is, like, when I bought this shit the first time, I couldn't afford it. Like, I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like, when I bought that car, you know, I shouldn't have bought that car. But the minute I fucking took a photo of that, it got shared a thousand times. We ran a sale that night. The car, you know, I did more in sales that evening off that sales code from dudes talking shit than the car cost to buy. Like, I paid for it outright. I wire transferred the money for it. And, um, like the, like the YouTube shit. We just started doing YouTube just... Because guys were asking us to do YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew it became pretty much a full-time job for James. And I didn't want to do that. So, uh, like, we'd shoot videos on the way to the gym. Or we'd shoot... Well, really, the, the best time to do it was, like, at breakfast time. We had a few minutes. And we just kind of videoed us. And it, we were just lucky, man. People liked what we were saying. Yeah. And it's like you said, you know, guys, you're fucking huge in the YouTube world. 
And, Not yet, uh, but I'm getting there. You're bigger than we are. All right. You got me on Facebook like a mother, though. Bullish. Yeah, but I started fucking years ago, right? And I mean, we work, we work Facebook for all the dudes that hate us and talk shit about the things we do on Facebook. If you want to be on success, successful on Facebook, you should fucking do what we do. No doubt. Like you should be asking us rather than fucking hating us for it. You should be asking us how the fuck we did it. Well, not only that, anyone that's throwing out hate is just because they're sitting at home not doing anything in their life. Right. Most, most people, of the time. most people talking shit. It's not because they don't like us. It's because they feel they've fallen short themselves. Of course. So they they, they want to be us. Well, and the other thing we said before we turned the camera on is you're one of the few companies that's down before I cut the shit out. Has gone from Nylon Co. to you know lifestyle brand. All of a sudden, that, you know, you got you guys, you got, you got fucking Lance who hasn't said a word, but he's well, here. Well, I was just thinking, I was just thinking, I, I got a few friend requests on my MySpace this weekend, <laughs> so that's good. He thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> But, you know, you got characters in here that are, that people want to see. I get feedback all the time when I'm talking shit with Pablo, and, and people love it. They love to see and what you guys are doing That's in the, the real thing. Like, I was calling him, you know, Pablo because he's, you know, Mexican or nigger Tom or whatever it was, <laughs> and dudes were losing their mind over it. But, like, that's just us, that's just us fucking around. Like, what what you see every morning on the video, like, that that's us. I mean, that really is, that's did, not a I didn't character. give him any shit. I didn't give him any shit, but I was asking where he was from, you know, and he was giving me the Tennessee twang, and then she said, so where are you originally from? Colombia. Yeah. Like, he, he, he turned that switch right back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck with my hair. He's got his Lego shit on right now. He doesn't like my black pants, even though he wears black jeans all These the time. These aren't black. Not today, but most of the time he wears black jeans. They're not jeans. black. They're called steel. Or tight <laughs> Which is another word for black. Coal and Arcteryx, neither one of them make anything called black. Yeah. They call it coal, so it's cooler. Coal. It's black. Coal. Coal. Steel. Someone will call you Coal Train. I call him Soul Train. Dance. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> Why? No one. Ah. Alright. Well, let's roll up to the building real fast, show you that, and then we gotta get to the gym. See you next time. The gym.